Hey guys, so today's video is all of my Tarte favorite top rated products. Just in my opinion, the best products from Tarte that I think you should purchase if you are looking for more Tarte products to add to your collection or to start a collection. I mean, I have a lot of favorites because Tarte is probably my all time favorite makeup brand. If I had to narrow it down to just one single brand that I could only ever use, I think I would have to choose Tarte just because everything they come out with seems to be amazing. I mean, there are some faults, no brand is perfect, but everything that I've ever purchased, the actual product has been incredible. So I'm gonna just get started because otherwise this video is going to be 45 minutes long and who wants to watch that? Nobody. All right, let's start with blush because that is simple and easy. I only have a blush palette from Tarte, which this was limited edition, but it is the exact same formula as all of their individual blushes that you can purchase, you know, by themselves. I have on this shade here called Mod. It's one of my favorites. I don't know if they sell it separately. I really hope they do because it's the most beautiful matte, corally, but with enough like brownness to it kind of color. It's just beautiful. This palette I got a couple of years ago for... It was kind of like around the holiday time. They always bring out products like this. And it was called the Color Wheel Amazonian Clay Blush Palette. So this is one of my favorite things to take to do client makeups because you never really know what they're going to ask for. And you have a whole palette of colors here. So highly recommend these blushes they actually stay on your cheeks continuing down the palette line the Tardist Pro Glow palette is one of my all-time favorite highlighting and contouring palettes I I love this love 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 this so if this shade looks a little bit funky it's because it was broken and I just fixed it with alcohol and Voila, it works. It's still a good color. My favorite highlighting color is Stunner. This one right here. I do like this one here for when I'm, you know, really fair, but it's got a little bit of glitter in it. And I personally like more of a metallic sheen or a very, very like subtle glowy kind of highlight. I love all of these. Like this one is gorgeous as well, but it's just a bit deep. For my skin tone but again I like to take it for clients I absolutely love these two contour shades this one is cream obviously it's beautiful it's natural blends like a dream I love using this on clients and I have used the powder contour today to kind of bronze and chisel out my cheekbones so that is what I have on my face I just I really enjoy this palette the packaging's kind of weird it's it's cool in a way because it's like a little book but it's kind of annoying because it's not just one thing that you can open and you have a big mirror it's just two tiny little weird mirrors but apart from that i love this it's one of my most recommended products from tarte and of course there is the Tardist Pro Glow to Go palette. It's like a mini little version. The contour shade's pretty dark in this one, I will say. Sometimes I would feel like it would look muddy, uh, but I remember saying to people like, oh, does my contour look muddy when I would wear this? And they'd say, no, I actually think it re looks really, really good today. So I don't know if that was just me being too over overly critical. <laughs> Welcome to my life. My brain is overly critical. But these two highlight shades are divine. Like, literally so beautiful. They, oh, I love them. They're called Gleam and Burst. Gleam is more of a champagne-y, bright white highlight. And then Burst is more of a yellowy golden undertone, which looks fantastic if you have a tan. Ugh. I love this palette. I love it, love it, love it. If you want to try out like face products from Tarte and you're just not sure what to go with to start out, I say get this. Just get it. It's cheap and 
you will you will love it I promise you this is another face palette from Tarte that I do really really like it's not like one of my oh my god must-have palettes but I do think it's worth it if you are someone who just needs to add staples to your makeup collection if you have very minimal amount of makeup you don't wear a lot of makeup I think this is something you would really appreciate it's the Tarte Clay Play Palette. The packaging is beautiful as with most Tarte products. The mirror is huge. I love it. It's got my fingerprints all over it. You get three different bronzing contouring shades ranging from shades that work for me when I am not my palest. I would have to say if you're super super pale these shades are still going to be too dark. I'd say they're for light to medium medium and then obviously deeper skin tones. I love that they've included a really deep bronzer matte contour in this. And then you have the eyeshadows. So you have three different base colours. They're like bone colours that you can set your entire lid with. I just like slapped my lips. And then you have transition shades. You have some deeper shades. You have like a nice warm brown and you have a black they are all matte, so you won't get a shimmery look out of this, but I just feel like it's such a good staple item, and I found myself when I was working a 9 to 6 job, this is what I would use a lot of the time. It was just quick, simple, easy. I would chuck this shade here, Stone, through my crease, then add a little bit of smoke in the outer corner, use the black called Onyx just like along my upper lash line, and then I would take either solstice or sand and just pat that over my lid and it's just like a matte staple eye look and I really like it. And you could also actually use some of the browns for eyebrow powders as well. So I mean, as I said, it's not like my must have, but I really feel like it is one of the essentials for the women or men who want to start out and just, you know, they're not like me, they don't like metallic, intense, crazy makeup on a day-to-day -day basis. Okay, so this palette I'm going to mention, it's not available anymore and I'm so sorry. But I want to mention it because it's on my eyelids today and it is incredible. <sighs> so I kind of feel obliged to mention it because I did use it and it is incredible. And if they ever release something similar, then I say go and get it. It's the Make Believe In Yourself palette. So packaging is gorgeous. I, again, I got this around Christmas time. That's when they tend to release the most limited edition products. But this is essentially a palette absolutely full, filled, filled? Filled with foiled eyeshadows that are really, really, really beautiful. I'm just gonna swatch a few. Like, I know there's no point because you can't even get it. But I can't help it. Can you see those on my finger? Like, look at that. They are insanely gorgeous. So, it is disappointing that this is not available. Um, but they do come out with stuff like this a lot. So, keep your eyes peeled. Their foiled eyeshadows, when they bring out something like this, are next level. Next freaking level. They're chunky, but they're smooth. I'm holding a tissue. They're absolutely beautiful. So I just I just wanted to give this an honourable mention. I'm so sorry you cannot get it anymore. Now I'm going to talk about palettes that I love. The products inside, I love, 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 love. The packaging though, it absolutely grinds my fucking gears. I'm so sorry about the language. So this is my Skin Twinkle Volume 2 palette. Is it supposed to look like this? No, it is not. It is gold underneath and this packaging is supposed to stay on. If you hear my dog and cat running around I am very sorry but they are playing and you cannot stop them. So these palettes aren't cheap like that's what frustrates me that it should look beautiful but it's constantly like it actually flakes off. I get flakes of this coloured plastic everywhere because it flakes off and I cannot for the life of me figure out why it's happened to two of my products. 
it's happened to my Tartlet in Bloom palette way worse. This used to be so pretty. It's so upsetting. I'll talk about this one in a minute. But I love the highlighters in here. So I do have to mention it as a favorite. I just hope that your guys' ones don't do what, what mine do. This is what the highlighters look like. I have on today this shade here called Spotlight on my cheekbones. Um, and whenever I use this, I love mixing actually Spotlight with a little tiny bit of Daylight. Just gives it more of a brighter, more intense highlight. Yeah, as I said, I do, I love this palette to pieces. It's a gorgeous highlighter palette. Every color in here is pigmented and beautiful and there's a shade almost for everyone. But my packaging should not do this. I actually did an Instagram poll where I shared my products and I said, has this happened to anyone else's palettes? And it was basically a 50-50. Like 50% of you had had this happen to you, 50% your palettes were absolutely fine. I don't store my palettes in direct sunlight, I don't store them in any weird way that anything should happen to them, so it does bother me because the packaging is beautiful. You pay a pretty penny and then this is what you get. So then onto my Tartlet in Bloom palette. It hurts me to look at this. It's so bad. And I find myself not even reaching for it because I know every time I do, this is what happens. Like, do you see the flakes coming off? So frustrating. But I do have this on my eyes today as sort of like my crease colors and... All of that I should have showed you I'm sorry I haven't filmed a talking video in a very long time I am out of my element I don't know what I'm doing I'm trying my best I have this shade here from the make believe in yourself palette all over my lids which is called trance then I have this shade here called magic which is just more like a chocolatey brown smudged underneath my lower lash line from the tartlet in bloom which this is an incredible palette. I love this. I do recommend it to a lot of people because it's gorgeous. It's got neutrals. You can create a dramatic look. You can create a natural look. You can do a little bit of everything with this palette. Just is the freaking packaging that gets me. So I have Smarty Pants in my crease. Rebel. I have a lot of shades in my crease. I like to bring all my darker shades like around up into the inner corner of my eye so i have smarty pants rebel leader and then i have a mix of activist and smoke show in the outer corners and then i have charmer and flower child on my brow bone so the shades are beautiful they're buttery they're creamy they are just some of the best eyeshadows i've ever used ever and i find myself reaching for them a lot Except for this palette because, as I said, packaging annoys me. My absolute favourite Tarte eyeshadow palette is the Tartist Pro Palette. It is beautiful. Mine is pretty dirty because I use it a hell of a lot. I just used this on a client who is also one of my closest friends on the weekend. And I forgot how beautifully it blends. This is how she looks inside. You get a huge mirror. I just wish... It would like bend a little bit more so that it was flat. So you get 16 matte shades and then you get four foiled shimmery shades down this side. The mattes blend out like butter. They are so pigmented and beautiful. And I have done way too many tutorials with this and I had to just like stop myself and say, okay, let's put the palette down because the people have seen enough. But I do have a lot of tutorials on my channel, I feel like, with this palette. And, of course, these, these foiled shades down the side are absolutely incredible. I, there's something about Tarte Foiled Shadows. I really want to pick up some of their chrome paint pot things. Another thing I have on my eyes that I love is this Tarte Eye Jewels Glitter Liner. So... You get one side which is basically just a metallic side and then you get your glitter side. I have the glitter just underneath my lower lashes 
and I love this. I have used this in at least one tutorial, maybe two. It's absolutely beautiful. They do have a rose gold shade, but it was always out of stock when I would try and purchase it. The shade I have is white gold, and I don't know what else to say besides... I love it. It's perfect for a night out, for just adding the tiniest little bit of glam. Like this makeup could be very toned down. Then I add the glitter, just gives it a little bit of pizzazz and I love it. Okay, keeping on the eye trend, I love the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. I think this is amazing. It gives me bushy, fluffy, thick, full eyelashes. I nearly said eyebrows, but eyelashes. This is just a mini one. My full size one I completely used up. I haven't repurchased because I do have the mini. Um, but I just have so many mascaras on the go at the moment. But the brush is the exact same as it is in the full size. It's just really good. I don't really know how else to describe a mascara. But I really, really like this one. And then the last sort of eye product I have is their eyelashes. So I have on a pair today that are very, very natural. You probably can't even tell I'm wearing false lashes. Tarte sent me a package months and months and months and months ago. And I have only just used them. These lashes are called Little Black Dress. I might insert a little close-up for you guys to see what they look like on my eyeballs. They're all cruelty-free. All of their lashes are cruelty-free. The whole entire brand, Tarte, is cruelty-free. They do not test on animals. They do not use mink. Oh, no, you are not chewing your toy in here. The fact that their lashes are all cruelty-free is something I love because I personally will never wear mink lashes. So, hey, okay, moving on to their face products. I love Tarte face products. The kind of prepping product is their Rainforest of the Sea Radiance Drops. I love these. These are kind of like, it's essentially an oil and it's so hard to explain. It kind of just looks like a very pearly kind of liquid. Um, but when you apply it to the skin and then you apply foundation or whatever over the top, just makes your skin look like it's got this inner glow. So I do really like these. I don't use them half as much as I should, I think, because it's just an extra step I always forget. But when I do use them, I always notice my skin just looks so much more healthy and radiant. So I do, I do really like these. On to foundation. One of my all-time favorite foundations is the Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Foundation. I adore this so much. So much. It is very thick and it's very creamy. And I think if you had oily skin, it might slip and slide a little bit. I don't know for sure. My skin doesn't get overly oily. Sometimes in the summer it will in the T-zone. But I know for my skin, which is normal to dry, this is just so beautiful. It is hard to explain. It's just full coverage. It's creamy. It's just everything I want in a foundation. I love the packaging. I love everything about it. And it does last a very long time on the skin. And my shade is Light Sand. The other foundation that I love from Tarte is their Rainforest of the Sea Water Foundation. It's what I have on my face today. This one is, I would say it's medium. Oh. See, it could be light coverage, but I would more so call it medium to full coverage. I do have quite a lot of shades of this because Sephora so kindly sent me a package a while ago with like three or four extra shades. This is the shade I have on today. It's the darkest one that I have and it's called Medium Sand. I freshly fake tanned last night so it matches me perfectly. I love the packaging. It's a glass bottle. It's the only thing. It's kind of risky. But the lid is beautiful. It's like gold to purple ombre and it is a dropper form. I pretty much do two drops on each cheek, one drop on my forehead, one drop on my chin. Blend all of that out and then sometimes I will add just like half a drop to each cheek and just add a little bit more coverage. And this is how it ends up looking. Clearly I have other products on, but I really love this foundation. Okay, you knew it was coming. 
Tarte Shape Tape, I am not going to talk about this for long because everyone and their mum knows how good this is. Except for my mum because she doesn't have it and I should buy her one one day. I have a couple of shades for when I'm between self tan shades. Light Sand is my more dark self tan shade but it's still light enough so I can highlight underneath my eyes. That's the shade I have on today under my eyes down the center of my face. And then I have Fair Neutral for when I am fair and it works perfectly. I've used this to death. I am pretty much in need of new ones now. My favorite concealer, hands down. There's, to me, nothing can beat the Tarte Shape Tape. Nothing has come close yet, so. Every other brand has got a big, big, big competition. Now, finally, onto the last stage is lips. I have on a tart lipstick and lip gloss. I have on a different lip liner, but that's not really, it's not really showing through. So the colors I have on my lips today are the Color Splash Lipstick, which I think you guys know how much I love these. I am a classic lipstick kind of girl. I have very dry lips all the freaking time. I am never seen without a lip balm. And I'm constantly like wiping my lipstick off because I can't stand when my lips get dry. These are insane. They keep my lips hydrated they keep them moisturized even the matte ones like the more matte ones are amazing you can see behind me all of those oh, color splash lipsticks which I was also sent which is so so lucky I like I can never get over when high-end brands or any brand sends me stuff like little old me so this is probably my favorite nude of all time. It's amazing, I love it. So again, it's called Beach Babe. Again, I love the formula. And then the lip gloss I have over the top is the Tardest Glossy Lip Paint in the shade Goals, which I'm gonna add a tiny little bit more because I feel like I have talked it off my lips. The only thing I don't like about this is the smell, but I can handle it because it goes away pretty quick like once you've got it on you don't you don't smell it I only have one of their glossy lip paints but I love it because it's a nudie pink and that's just me all over as I said the color splash lipsticks they're probably my favorite things of all time packaging is like this aqua blue watercolor marble it's just so beautiful I have so many different colors I use them all the time I use them all the time in tutorials and I always like pick up something different. Obviously I'll do a few swatches of just a few colors that I pick up and show you guys what they're like. You can probably tell from the swatches how creamy they are but when I do feel like wearing a liquid lipstick I do quite like their lip paints. So these are the shades that I have on hand right now. I don't know if I have any more, but I do have an entire video swatching all of the lip paints, which I will link down below if you guys want to see all of the colors in action. My favorite by far is called Namaste. Oh my God, this nude is incredible. It's just, it's my favorite. It's my favorite. I do know that the Namaste one is like a moussey texture, which is my favorite, but it still lasts so long and I use this on my friend who I did her makeup the other day as well and just fell in love with it all over again and they do have some really beautiful colors I also love this peach called get it Ugh, beautiful okay guys I believe that is everything I wanted to talk about all in all Tarte is a fantastic brand I just I really 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 like them for a lot of different reasons as you guys can probably tell throughout this video. So if you made it to the end, congratulations, you deserve a gold star because I feel like I talked a million miles an hour and about a whole lot of stuff. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like when I do the best of videos. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe if you are not already subscribed and I will see you guys in my next video. Mwah. Bye! Like the title is uh, mm -hmm. everything. Shush phone. I just noticed this light. A lot of people out there 
I just snotted out my nose. Oh my god, I'm disgusting. No, they don't have my favourite foil eye palette. Fucking fantastic. I feel like I'm wearing a bathrobe, but it's a dress. I Ollie! You guys know I've already filmed this video once. And then I found out that my microphone wasn't working the entire time. So it was a whole video of me talking with no sound. Really letting my... let's not share that with people. And then Namaste, where are you? I need you. There you are.